everybody. Today we are going to make a quick Valentine's Day card in the slimline format using our scallop nested set of slimline dies. So it is a nested set of four. This is what all four of them look like. We're going to put the two middle ones aside here and we're going to be using the two larger ones which I already took the time to cut them out so we could make a quick card. We're going to start with cardstock which I already uh, cut out and creased as well. We're going to fold that and give it one more solid crease with my Teflon bone folder. And remember Teflon does not leave a mark on dark paper so it's extra handy like that. And I, like I said, I already cut these out and I'm going through my stash of paper because this is the year that I'm going to rehydrate my uh, paper supply stash. So I'm going through all my paper and seeing what matches and using them up. So as you can see, this is cut out into the scallop. So we are going to go ahead and glue that guy down and get our first layer down right here. And we're gonna eyeball that guy right now and put that down and then my second piece that I cut out I really liked the paper so that's the paper I wanted to show up it's a little bit challenging to see the scallops on that side but I'm going to use it anyway because I really enjoy that paper so let's get that guy all taped up and we're gonna layer this second layer on eyeball that guy. Now I like to use my negative spaces as well. So this is piece is what popped out of there. That's what that piece did. Let me show that a little bit closer for you guys. Put that back down. So I do want to use it. It's got the reverse of the scallop on the one side and straight on the other side. And then I'm going to be putting that right here after I put some adhesive on it, just so it brings my eye down to where I want my uh, the eyeball to travel when I'm doing my card. And then on this, I'm going to use the two-way fine point glue, because this is a little bit on the, oops, actually we're going to use our tape runner. I'm going to do a little bit of tape runner like that. We're going to pull that guy up. And again, we are going to do a little bit of eyeballing. I did do some pre-measuring, so that will go right about there and measures out perfectly. All right, we're gonna put that guy just aside for a moment. And then I'm going to uh, use this as my little sentiment on the top right there. And then I'm also going to use a key. And I got the key cut out of our $5 die that's on the website. So that key goes right there. So that's a group of dies on our $5 section on the website. So that is the key I'm going to use as the embellishment. But I do want to ink the edges. So, you know, there's two ways to ink. You can use your um, uh, sponge finger daubers. You can use your sponges. Or right now, what I'm going to do because I'm not going to do a very large section. I'm going to just take this guy and run it ever so delicately onto the sides right here, just as such, close up my ink. And then after I do that, sometimes I scrape the sides so there's no re residual ink. And I'm gonna pop that over there. Now I'm gonna use my uh, pop-up squares because I wanna give this guy a little bit of dimension as it's onto this quick Valentine's Day cards. Card, excuse me. And we are going to peel these guys off, which you know, you always need a good set of nails to do that, to peel these off or tweezers. That always helps as well too. Peel that guy off. Okay, and then I can use my tweezers to place that ever so gently, equally where I would like it. And I want that to go right about there. Okay, that guy is right where I want it to be. And then my key, I'm going to have that guy, let's see here, he's gonna go right there, kind of tucked in right there. So I am going to use my two-way zig uh, pen. Well, actually I grabbed the wrong pen. All right, so we are going to do a, just a little bit of our adhesive and I'm going to use my tweezers. I'm going to make that guy fit right there, right in there. 
So let's show you what I've got so far. And then I do want to add just a little bit of embellishment. So I've got some of my rhinestones right here. And they are connected on a line, but I just pre-cut a few of those off real quick because I want to just give a little bit of dimension, a little bit a, of glitz on this particular card. Not a lot. Going to do one, two, three pieces and leave it at that. And then to finish it off, I did cut out from the heart that says handmade so I can put it on the back of my card. And that's from the set that has a couple of different pieces that say handmade. So you could do it for a birthday, um, there's a cloud for a rainy day, or just some other fun ones to do. And I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive onto the back of, whoops, of that guy. And it's gonna go right there. And then you can always put in the date and your initials right there. And then quick Valentine's Day card is all done. You just got to make your envelope and ready to go. All right, see you next time.